welcome back. More than 600 people were arrested overnight across France during a third night of violent protests over the police killing of a teenager earlier this week. Some 40,000 officers were deployed across the country on Thursday in a bid to attempt to quell further clashes, but a total of 667 were detained by the police. In Nanterre, protesters torched cars, barricaded streets and hurled projectiles at police following an earlier peaceful vigil held to pay tribute to the youth. In central Paris, a shoe store was broken into and several people were arrested after store windows were smashed along the Rue de Rivoli shopping street. Marseille, France's second largest city, has decided to ban public demonstrations today. In fact, all public transport will stop from 7 p.m. local time. Here's more on the background. Unrest erupted again on Thursday in France, marking the third day of clashes over the deadly police shooting of a teenager. In Nanterre, where the incident took place, cars were set on fire, and protesters set up road barricades, hurling projectiles at lines of police. Riot police fired back with tear gas. Earlier in the day, there had been a largely peaceful march for the victim, identified as 17-year-old Niel of North African descent. He was shot dead during a traffic stop, and public anger over the incident led to riots across France this week. The teenager's mother chanted, Justice for Niel, with other supporters in the march. Karima Katem, a local councillor in blanc Mesnel, northeast of Paris, says people's patience is running thin. I think we owe this today to Niel. There have already been so many like him before and we don't want any more. By killing Niel, they killed our child. Earlier, President Emmanuel Macron held a crisis meeting with senior ministers over the shooting and condemned the unrest. Interior Minister Gerald Darmanin said 40,000 police officers would be deployed across the country on Thursday. That's nearly four times the numbers mobilized the previous day. A video shared on social media verified by Reuters shows two police officers beside a Mercedes AMG car with one shooting at the teenage driver at close range as he pulled away. He died shortly afterwards from his wounds. A non-terror prosecutor said the officer involved had been put under formal investigation for voluntary homicide. The officer has acknowledged firing a lethal shot, the prosecutors added, telling investigators he wanted to prevent a car chase after the teenager allegedly committed several traffic violations. The incident has fed long-standing complaints of police violence and systemic racism inside law enforcement agencies from rights groups and within the low-income, racially mixed suburbs across the country. Authorities deny the accusations. Let's go across to my colleague Sanjay Suri, who's joining us, keeping a track of what is happening in France and especially Paris. Sanjay, earlier, uh, the French President Emmanuel Macron left Brussels, where he was for the EU summit early to return to France as there's writing taking place. He has hit out at court totally unjustifiable attacks on public buildings after the boy's killing. And ahead of an emergency meeting, it was also indicated that the French government, the French prime minister and president will consider all options in response to the riots. How do you read the situation and what do you think the government's reaction is going to be? Well, one of the announcements that we've had uh, just now mm. is that the interior minister has announced that buses and trams will be stopped and this will be across the board just about everywhere from 9 p.m. local time. And as you were just telling us, in Marseille, they took the decision earlier to stop uh, any uh, uh, local transportation at 7 p.m. local time and to ban any public meetings. Mm. The aim clearly is to deny people the public transportation to move from one place to another. Beyond that, uh, we are in really unknown territory because the government in France has issued an appeal to parents to stop their children going out. Now that seems a bit dubious. The power of parents to restrain teenagers is a little dubious in the most stable of families at the best of times. Mm. In this situation, in this circumstance, that's not likely to go very far, but we'll have to see overnight to see if that appeal has added to the measures uh, that have been introduced and announced to see if the violence can at least be reduced. Because really the government is trying to 
prevent a revival of the 2005 riots that went on mm. three weeks through which about 9,000 cars were um, uh, set alight and thousands were arrested. The government is trying to contain this as quickly as possible now. I was going to ask you exactly this, Sanjay. I mean, France does have a history of clashes and protests, even rioting. Uh, and there's an intersectionality of uh, the police, especially, or the law enforcement and, quote-unquote, the immigrant population in uh, France. Uh, where do you put in the scale of the rioting that France has seen in recent times, let's say over the last decade, of what we have witnessed? Because this has already gone on for three days now. Well, the 2005 is the benchmark, and that is the most severe mm. that um, uh, France has seen by way of rioting. And over three weeks, we had about 9,000 cars burnt here. In three days, we've had about 2,000 cars burnt. Mm. So if you were to, now not that this is necessarily indicative and a very uh, uh, illuminating parallel, but if you were to broadly even average this out, this certainly is no less in intensity than 2005. In some respects, it could be even more uh, in the three days so far. What is the clear parallel is the fact that this is over the killing of an Algerian boy and 2005 was again over the killing of an Algerian boy mm -hmm. along with a black boy and there is a lot of frustration because a lot of this is not just about um, anger, it's about frustration. It's a lot of youth that are uh, non-white, that are deprived with little education, very little ambition, going nowhere, looking for some things to do to have a good day somehow and that frustration has spilled out because when you see youths attacking a, a shoe store and mm. attacking buses in a bus depot this is not an expression of grief it's an expression more of frustration yeah well generally what happens is when you have cases like this and anger is spilling onto the streets there are people who you know uh, enter such protests and a lot of looting takes place we've seen that happening in uh, some European countries, even in America recently. But I'll leave it at that, Sanjay Suri. We'll keep coming back to you uh, for more on the French government's response.